Hey guys, hope you are doing great. Uh, so in today's video, we are going to understand how to filter data using SQL by leveraging something called as the var clause. Okay, there are going to be multiple um, ways to do it. So stay positive, go through the complete video so you can understand all the concepts. Okay, first of all, uh, let me ask a question. We can do it on a question solution basis so you guys also understand. As you see in, in this data, you have UK and USA, right? In country, you have both, both countries orders here, okay? Say I wanted to just see all the rows which had country as UK, okay? Only for UK, I don't want USA orders. How you would do it in SQL is, you would start with the select star from, and the same for my name of the database, dot name of the uh, table. And then you would just type where, and that particular column can name, like where country is equal to, then you put in this case, for example, UK, remember to put it within single quotes, okay? So it's very much like English, as you see, very simple. And now you run this, what you will see is you will only get the rows which had country equal to UK, the USA rows have been eliminated, okay? This is a simple where clause, okay? There are little more sophistications we can implement, which I'm gonna show you one by one, okay? Suppose you don't want to just put one condition, but you want to put two conditions. For example, you want to make sure the country is UK. And also you want to only see the orders which are finished. You don't want to see canceled orders. Okay. How would you do that in SQLS? It's the same thing. Select star from name of the database dot name of the table where country equal to UK. Already we have this condition. And we also want to add a condition for order status to be equal to finished. Okay. So I would say and so at the end, so that you had the extra condition or status is equal to finished. Make sure the spelling is similar to whatever is in the column. So one condition is there, just add a simple and, and then add the other condition. And I run it. Now you will see only uh, the rows where country is UK and order status is finished. Wherever order status was canceled, those rows are also being removed. Right, from our output. This is a second use case. There's another thing you can do, okay? So let me remove this. So let's come to channel. What if you wanted to see only the rows where the channel was either direct or Google, okay? So you don't want to see, for example, others or social. You just want to see the rows where channel is direct or channel is Google. So important thing to note here, we are using the or condition. How do you do it in SQL? So it's the same select star from name of database dot uh, name of the table. Then you put where, and then you can say channel is equal to Google or channel is equal to direct. Okay. So when I run this, so I introduce the OR condition here. When I run this, I will get only the rows where the channel is direct or Google basically. Okay. So this is one way of doing it or uh, there is another, I would say slightly more efficient way of doing it. Uh, imagine, you know, you had to put this kind of condition, but for more than four or five options. You know, if you wanted to put channel equal to Google or channel equal to direct or channel equal to email and so on, typing this, you know, you will have more lines in your code. So here you can use something called as the in operator, okay? So how you would do it is you would say where channel, then use the word in, and then here you can enter as many options as you want. So for example, I can enter your Google, then I can separate it with a comma, then I can enter, uh, for example, direct, okay. And now if I run the query, I get the exact same output as the, you know, previous query with the or condition. You get all the rows where the channel is direct or Google, but from a user perspective, uh, we have managed to make this query more efficient and like, you know, reduce the number of lines in the code as you see, instead of using odd channel is equal to, we just say where channel in and we have the two options. So here you can also add, if you want to see social, you could also add social here. Okay, it's pretty simple. Like that, just like that by adding an extra option, separating it with a comma. Now you will see direct social and Google, like all the three. Okay, so in is pretty powerful. So keep that in mind. 